a smoothie bowl. So that's exactly what I did. I don't really know if this is going to work. I've never done anything like this before, but basically I did a chocolate smoothie for his jacket and then the green part is banana, avocado, and matcha. Earlier I melted some chocolate chips and tried my best to draw out his face, which was actually pretty hard and it didn't really work, but it's close enough. Finally I did some strawberries for the ears and the last finishing touch was some chocolate sprinkles to give his jacket some texture. Oh my gosh, he's actually so cute. Look at him. Wow, I'm so impressed. Hi, I'm Nicole and today we're going to make a Lucky Charms milkshake. We're going to start by decorating our jar. I'm just smearing vanilla frosting on the outside and then rolling it in Lucky Charms. Did anyone else used to eat the marshmallows when you were little? For the shake, I'm doing half a cup of milk, two big scoops of vanilla ice cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of Lucky Charms, and three drops of green food coloring. Blend all of that up and then pour it into our jar. Last but not least, we're gonna top our masterpiece with whipped cream and then more marshmallows because they're the best. Let's taste it. Oh my gosh, wow. We're making hot chocolate dip. Easiest recipe you're gonna make all season. You're gonna need a giant bowl, one big tub of Cool Whip. So satisfying. An entire jar of marshmallow fluff. And the final ingredient is a third cup of hot cocoa powder. I have this Ghirardelli mix and one's caramel and one's double chocolate, so I'm just gonna do halvesies. Now blend it up. Transfer to a bowl. Add some mini marshes to the top. Not just because it's fun, we're gonna do a light sprinkle of cocoa powder. Whoa, that was a little more than a light sprinkle, Nicole. Now, you can take a little graham cracker and do a dip, or you could be fun and use these reindeer circus animal cookies. You could also do Nilla wafers. So many options. I think I'm gonna go for the cookie and bon appetit to me. This is amazing. Y'all need to get in your kitchens right now because Hey, listen up, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cookie dough dip. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. It's just a few simple ingredients. We need a tub of Cool Whip or whipped cream, cream cheese at room temperature, a jar of marshmallow fluff, a little bit of brown sugar, and some mini chocolate chips. Just half the tub of Cool Whip, the whole tub of marshmallow fluff, about one tablespoon of brown sugar, and mix. Mini chocolate chips, get them in there. Now we've got lots of dipper options. You could do Nilla wafers, you could do little animal cookies, or you could do graham crackers. It really doesn't matter. Choose your favorite one, the end destination is the same. I think I'm gonna go for the Nilla wafer. And dunk. Oh my gosh. Mm. Little cookie dough. One cup of flour. Now we need to heat treat this flour because we're eating it raw to kill any bacteria that might be inside. So just pop this in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Now we need half a cup of softened butter and half a cup of brown sugar and then three tablespoons of white sugar. Cream those together. Okay, now we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of salt, and then our flour. Now mix all that up and slowly add in one and a half tablespoons of milk. Okay, the last thing we gotta add is our chocolate chips. You're supposed to do half a cup, but who really measures? Not me. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Oh wow. This is the best. These banana Snickers are such a fun and delicious snack or dessert idea and so easy to make. Peel your bananas, then cut them into four pieces as shown here, and then spread a good layer of peanut butter on each slice of banana. If you don't like peanut butter, feel free to use any nut butter. Then sprinkle on some crushed peanuts and finally some dark chocolate and place in the freezer to set. They take about two hours and then they are ready to enjoy. I hope you make these. These blueberry sometime. muffins will be your new favorite snack. They are so simple and quick to make. 
In a bowl, combine your eggs, milk, vanilla and sweetener and mix until combined. Then fold through your flour and baking powder. Once that's all mixed together, fold through your blueberries, place in a lined muffin tin and bake at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes. Tag someone who you think would love this recipe.